Today, I'm going to give you five tips to get smoother footage with your GoPro. Tip number one, get a pole. Now we've seen this one before. It's fun, it stretches. Now, one of the beauties of this is that when you hold it, it doesn't translate every single little movement that your hand does. It has a little bit of balance. Okay, now I would suggest if you've got the GoPro 5 or the 6 or the Hero Session 5, have stabilization on anyway. But having used this while snowboarding, I have found having it on full extension, holding it out, does tend to smooth everything out. It does pick up some little bumps, but it's better than if you were just holding it on its own. Tip number two, head mount. Easy, sits on your head. Now, when you see a lot of people doing these obstacle course races, Spartan, Tough Mudder and so on, they will tend to wear a head mount. It fits it firmly against your head. And what your head sees, it sees. Balances things out. You know, you don't wander around going, uh, the whole time. I know that looks really silly as well. But your head automatically stabilizes itself and a little automatically stable with this. Bit number three, chest mount. Again, put it on your chest, your body does the work. Especially good if you're mountain biking or skiing, not so good if you're gonna be mount, uh, snowboarding because of the fact that you're turned sideways. Unless you're doing some very, very weird snowboarding. You wanna get it here, it'll see everything. Your body does most of the work. Tip number four, a two-handed approach. Now, I find you can do this with a pole. And what you do is you bring one elbow in and the other one comes out to the side. Now, this gives you a bracing point with the elbow against the body, and the other one, out to the side, gives you a little bit, a little bit more of a stabilization. Hopefully, that will get you some smoother footage. Fingers crossed. Um, the more you move, the less stable it's gonna be, obviously. Tip number five, this doesn't require an attachment. Basically, shooting a higher frame rate. A higher FPS will allow you to slow down your footage, and if you slow down your footage at a higher FPS, it's gonna be smoother. Even at normal speed, it's still going to be smoother with a higher FPS. If, however, you are going over speed bumps, or anything else that causes you to go like that constantly, it's not a lot you can do. It's not really going to help. Even a gimbal is probably going to be having issues then. So, Hopefully, this will have helped you out. Uh, if you found this helpful, click subscribe, click the bell notification, and you'll get notifications about upcoming videos. Thanks. Bye. I've changed, I've changed, I've changed, I've changed. Hey, hey.